How's it going? Welcome back to a new video. I want to break down the painting that you see on the screen right now. Obviously, you start with a blank canvas. So the first layer is my original sketch. When I'm drawing from reference, I don't care about creating an exact copy of the person in my reference. I look for the character, the personality, or the expression, the emotion that I get from the reference. And I try to capture that in my drawing. I don't care about creating like an exact photocopy. To me, that's really boring and I could just take a photo with a camera. And what I suggest in this stage is kind of limit yourself to maybe five colors and then also stick to midtones. Midtones are colors that aren't too bright, aren't too dark. Then I just play around until I find colors that I like. So once I have them, that's when I start playing around with the shading and the lighting. So the first thing that I've done here is I actually created this light on the background. And so in the reference, I'm guessing this light source is coming from a window or something. So it's kind of an external light source that is hitting the background. This is very easy to create. So for example, to create this, I just selected a random shape on the background with the lasso tool. And then I kept one side of it hard and the other side I just kind of softened up with a blending brush. So this is a thing, an effect to create in like a minute or two. It's very simple. Then from there, I started playing around with the shading on the skin. And now with the next layer, it's going to look super complex. But to me, it's probably easier to do than for a lot of you guys out there. And this is because I've just done this hundreds of times before. So I'm kind of experienced doing this. But just look at your reference, try to see where the light source is at, how it's hitting your subject and how it's kind of transforming the object that you're painting. I've started including some warmer tones into the skin color. Also some very harsh highlights on her forehead and on the top lid. And this all comes from experience. This is definitely something that is more advanced. What I would suggest is take your time Try to do it as good as you possibly can. When I started painting, something that wasn't even as good as this took me about a week to do. But as you grow as an artist, as you kind of gain experience and skill, you automatically will speed up. Sooner or later, you'll realize, hey, this only took me like an hour or two. So just moving on, the next thing that I've done here is I added some highlights to the eyes. I find this step um, to be crucial when painting portraits. If I turn off the highlights on the eyes, you can see that it kind of looks lifeless. There's just nothing going on here. But as soon as you start adding highlights, it's starting to look like something. It's starting to look promising. Just be careful not to go crazy with this because the more subtle it is, the more realistic it comes across. And it just, yeah, you need to be very cautious with this. Like don't go overboard and just add a huge white spot or something that's probably not going to work out unless you have a really harsh spotlight shining at her face. So with the next layer, I'm basically just finalizing this painting. I'm adding harsher highlights to the hair, to the skin. I'm doing some more blending, softening up some areas that I find a little bit too harsh, adding some more colors to it to make it really pop and stand out. As I said before, I'm not too interested in making an exact photocopy of the reference. Feel free to experiment, feel free to manipulate it, to edit it, and to add your own imagination to it, you know? So the final step is just kind of the cherry on top and just pushing it a little bit further and, and getting the most out of it. I'm pretty happy with this painting. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, then I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, I love you with all my heart and soul. Peace. Oh.